today we are going to be building this climbing cross simple. Make sure you check out the description below which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. Now we're given the wood just a quick layer of primer to seal that up and protect it a little bit more in the elements out here. So we're laying all of the tyres on the ground that are going to be for our climber here and we're just putting them into sets of three and then we've got some tyres that are a little bit thinner in their width uh, so these are going to work perfectly for the width of the wood that we have available. And it's a great idea to label all of these tyres as you're going along because if you're marking out your holes you're going to want to know where those holes are going to correspond and if you've got kids running away with your tyres that does not help matters at all. And when you're digging the holes for the centre post to go into there, uh, you want to make sure it's a little bit wider so that you can put all the cement in and you're going to get a really strong hold there. We're going about 60 centimetres deep for this um, post, so that's not going to go anywhere. Fill that up with a lot of cement, it'll be real solid. Then for the tyres, going about half of the diameter of one of those uh, car tyres. You can also use truck tyres on this one. It's going to work best for you and your site, depending on the age of the kids um, and the materials available. Now we're just bolting these sets of three tyres together in a sort of L shape. Um, and these are all going to be connected to the post on each four sides, ensuring that your thinnest tyres going close to the uh, post, so that way um, it'll be easier to get them all to fit in. Make sure your tyres are in straight lines. You can use some rocks or something to hold the tyres in place while you're filling in the dirt. Make sure that they're all in the right positions in a cross formation running with right angles to each other. The best part about this is when you get to paint all of the pieces and seeing them all come to life. Get as many people as you can involved with this one. A lot of volunteers make quick work and fun work. With all of the pieces that you're making, Grab yourself uh, these step-by-step -step instructions from the Playground Ideas website. They will just explain how to go about them. These get torn up on site, so don't worry about that one. We've gone through this and look at what we made. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.